Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today, we're going to make two envelopes from one sheet of paper. But first, let's have our shout out to Lenny, Roxana, Candace, Kelly, Sherry, Black Coffee, Judy, Dadkins, too, and Talita. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have a beautiful printable. You're going to say, Kathy, where'd you get that from? And I'm going to say, I have no idea. <laughs> I've looked and looked on Etsy to try to find it. All of my purchases has, have been swiped clean. I don't have any um, record of any of my purchases. And my computer did not save the name. So I'm sorry. It's a shabby something. So it's really pretty. It's kind of a peachy pink color. So we're going to make these two pockets. I went ahead, or envelopes, I went ahead and coffee dyed the back. So let's fold it the long way. And let's fold it leaving about an inch and a half. So I'm going to fold it an inch and a half from the top, like this. Uh, do I want it that way? Not really. I think I want it this way. Sorry, guys. I want it this way. I should have paid more attention to that. Okay, so an inch and a half this way. There we go. And then we're going to take this flap and we're going to fold it down. This is going to be the flap of the envelope. This is a very simple little process here, but you know I don't do anything very complicated. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it the long way again. So actually I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm just going to mark the middle of that like this. And then I'm going to bring in my mini guillotine and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chop this right where it's half. So now I have two beautiful envelopes. So you can do lots and lots with this. You can do like Shabby Dabby Doodah does and you can glue the two flaps together. Of course, after you've glued it shut to make an envelope. She glues these two together and then she has a double envelope like this. You could do that or you could glue the bottom, the top of this to the bottom of this and you could have this type of fold out with two envelopes. But what I want to do is just go ahead and decorate this up just as it is. And I'm actually, that is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I think I'm going to use this one because I can put a lot of stuff over here. So moving this one aside, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in my vintage photo. And I'm going to need to go ahead and ink this all the way around. Right, so I've inked it all the way around, including the inside fold. Let's bring in our glue. I'm using Tombow glue. You can use any glue of your liking. And I'm just going to place glue down this side of the page, and I'm going to just close it and make ourselves an envelope. So here we are. We've got that all glued together, so now we have our envelope. So let's go ahead and let's do some decorating. Now I have a piece of lace here, and I've actually taken it, and I have threaded my 1 8 inch pink satin ribbon right in the holes. It had larger holes here on the lace, and I just threaded my my ribbon through those holes and I think that looks very pretty. So I think I'd like to add that right on the flap. So I'm just going to add my hot glue. I'm using hot glue because it's quick, it's easy, and it will be dry to continue on with our project here. Now I'm just going to trim the edges. So right here, trim the edges nicely. So isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Quick and easy. Very, very pretty. Now I have some laces here and I have this net that has a little decoration on it. And then I have this lace right here that I bought by the yard. So I think I would like to place some of this lace on here like 
this, but I think I want it to be kind of haphazard shape. I don't really want it to be anything like a square or a rectangle or anything like that. And I actually think I would also like a piece of this heavier lace on here as well. I think that's very pretty. Now, I purchased these today. I thought they were really nice. Oh my goodness, right? These were at the dollar store. And I don't know if they've been out for a while. I just happened to see them today. And I decided, oh, I think I'd like to make something with these. So I like this one right here. I think that one's going to go beautiful with this. I don't know how I feel about this super shiny, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm just lightly going to stick it there just to get it off of here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my lace placed on here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue down, grab my silicone spoon, and smash it down. That's a wonderful tool for some hot glue, not burn your finger. And then I'm going to put some over here so I have another piece right there. Now I used a different type of butterfly on my examples. Um, they were digitalcollage.com is where I purchased my other little butterflies from that I'll show you in the example at the end. I'm going to actually trim this and I'm going to use this little piece I think right down here like that. I think I'd like it to be it just gives it a little weight to the bottom of the envelope and then let's see do we want anything underneath this? Oh my. Let's see. I think I want to place it like this but I'm thinking the hot glue is going to be too hot and I just don't know if it's going to really stick on there. So I'm going to actually do this and just put a pool of glue. Eventually it will dry. So for now, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do because I think the hot glue would warp this mylar. I think it's mylar material. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? Oh goodness gracious. Now I also have in my dish here, I have a label, which is a Tracy Fox label, and I think I'd like, I think I want the smaller one. I need to put a little ink on here with my sponge applicator, and then I am going to just put a little hot glue on it just to get it quickly onto the flap there. And I have here somewhere, oh yes, I have some beautiful peach half circle, mm, I guess they're um, pearls, oh pearls. Let's see if I can get this turned over because I think it'd be very pretty on here. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Now to place something inside, you could put a piece of ephemera, you could put a tag, or you could get <coughs> a vintage little letter and you could actually fold it up. So I could fold it the long way and I do believe that would fit in there nicely if I did that. And then I could go ahead and fold it a couple times to go inside. And then you would have a lovely <clears throat> large piece to write on. I'm still not quite dry here, guys, so it's coming open a little bit, but it will dry. And absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I love that. Now, here's one that I made. And like I said, I used a different, whoop, that little bead is coming up. I used a different butterfly, and I put a little bit of thread on the body of the butterfly with a little flat back green pearl and some I did the lace and the ribbon and then a bow and a little label right there. That's Tracy Fox label. This one's Shabby Dabby Doodah label. 
And then I did another one here that's a little different. I used a little different lace there, but the same concept. Now I could put a little bow right there on the top. Just simply do a couple of loops like this and then give it a snip and then cut off another little piece of ribbon and place it in the middle, grab a hold of it, just like this, and then grab a hold of all of it in your hand and thread it through right here. Get it go, to go through. I'll have to use my teeth <laughs> to pull it through and then you have just a very small little bow with a couple of little loops on it and then we can add a little bit of hot glue or whatever type of glue that you are using on here. I'm going to find out the middle and just pop it right on just like that. And then of course I would want to cut these little streamers off to be shorter. But oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? Very quick, very easy, very beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.